Welcome to the channel. In this video, you will see a full transformation of this old and slightly rusty Fiat Scooter into a Leatherman of the cars. This will be my brother's main car, which he can drive to work, do shopping, climb the mountain and do some traveling. It's less than four and a half meters and you can park it as a normal car. If you are in Europe, you will understand me how important it is, especially in the big cities. Let's begin. This van was used as the cargo van, and nobody cared much to keep it in the super clean conditions. We were not choosing it, and we just had an opportunity to have it for a great price. The biggest difficulty of designing the van is planning. It's thinking about every possible detail, so you don't have to repeat the job or waste time fixing. Especially if you want to have some pipes or cables under the floor. This is the first time we're building the van in the real workshop. And while we're building it, we were continuously improving it and organizing. We give one layer of paint from every side and then slide sanding. The most challenging job now is to keep this floor beautiful till the end of the build, even if the visible part of the floor will be repainted once the project is finished. Stop. Small gaps around cables will be filled with fiberglass, and the rest of insulation will be foam. This one is really small, so we would need just some cables for solar panels and fan. Extruded polyester is one of the most used insulation at this moment on the market, as it's reasonably priced with the great performance. Armaflex is a great option for spaces where you want to save some space. It's expensive, but it's great, and it comes with adhesive layer, so you could easily insulate curvy spaces like all around the wheels. Insulation is one of the things that it's really hard to upgrade once the van is finished. Insulation materials are not very economical, so unfortunately you cannot save too much money. Originally, the van had a sofa, but we found an old single seat from another car. We will install swivel plate and it should definitely maximize the space in the van. The height of the van is very low. You can sit very comfortably on the swivel seat, but you can only lie down on the sofa in the finished van. During this build, we wanted to test new things, and hatch is one of them. But the main one is removable furniture design, so you could use a van as a cargo van when camper is not needed. After trying different ways to cover metal holes, we came to fiberglass and epoxy resin. Easy to work with, strong and looks amazing once applied filler and sanded it. I'm really happy with this solution and will continue using this technique on the future projects. It took me about three hours to cover everything. It's much easier to make a stencil from transparent plastic instead of continuously adjusting wood panel. You can easily see every corner and with experience you can have almost final result from the first time. For this project I've bought some new tools to try. 
and this Makita Rauta is one of them. Works really well with professional finish. Ceiling is one of the trickiest panels to make. For this one, it will be made from two pieces. There is nothing straight in the camperway, so on the test piece I've tried to bend the wood panel by making it wet. And then I've done the same on the wall panel. So with simple sticks and hot glue, you can make a small template for your cutting lines, which will make your life easier. It's the first time I'm trying it, and let's see if it's working. The next important decision was to choose the height of the kitchen, so everything is comfortable and you are not burning the ceiling while cooking in the van. The most difficult part of this build is that the furniture is removable from the van. It's tricky as nothing is rectangular. And the smaller the van, the more you want to optimize the space and use every corner. For the kitchen top, I've used the same technique with wooden sticks and hot glue. Came out really great from the first time. Metal is too hot, I need some gloves. Success. Inside of the kitchen, we will have gray and fresh water tank. There are lots of jobs which are interconnected when you build a van. You start with the kitchen and then suddenly you are drilling holes for the electrical cables. Designing furniture, not the fastest thing, but luckily, I have a computer. I think it's too high, so I will cut one centimeter. Designing the van takes a lot of time. You don't want to drill two holes when you can drill only one, especially in the van. But if things come out nicely, then you're happy, huh? It's a nice feeling. I've tried to minimize the weight of the van as much as possible and used 10 and 12 mm plywood. To join the pieces, I bought Makita biscuit joiner. That's not the fastest tool and not the fastest technique. This tool is aligning panels and add additional strengths compared to just screws. First piece of furniture assembled, looks good. Let's continue. The kitchen is the scary one. Let's try it inside. Top. Now the 
pieces are joined together so they much more solid. I think it's a big success until now because I wasn't seeing any progress. But now, once everything together looks good, works well, we're just missing the supporting legs, which we'll add now. And after that, I think we can paint even. <laughs> Maybe everything was fine from the first time, unless I would put the legs from the other side. That's the beauty of using these wooden inserts because you can uh, put the bolts in and out as many times as you want. <laughs> Two legs will be limited by the furniture and the last one will be limited by aluminium corner. It was quite tricky to put the lid on because you need to fit in, in different places. These cookies, they are really nice to align things, so it's holding in place, you can see the shape. I'm really happy, it takes more time, but these edges you can send off if they are popping out. Same here. These two sliding shells I've done with the rail on the bottom, and I don't recommend it. They are much sturdier when they are on the sides. Cupboards are too thin for the 35 millimeters hinges, so by adding a bit of wood, that's gonna work. This will be fixed all the time, all the cables. There will be a cover, which will be flash with the bed. Everything else you can take away. Once in a while, my workshop was getting messy, so I had to reset it. It's extremely important to not dedicate 100% of your time for the build and leave some time for physical activity and fun. Huh? One of the cupboards will be designed for the fridge, so we will need two ventilation drills. Since the furniture will be removable in this van, I've marked where the points are and instead of normal wooden screws, I will be using metal inserts. So the bolts will be going in, so it's much more durable. Ventilator doesn't have any any net, so we'll add this plastic thing, which will be a protection from mosquito and uh, just to make it less visible. I moved three cables from the front of the car. One is for alternator, another two for inverter, and for supplying power for heater. That was forgotten at the beginning. It would take much less time, but whatever you see here on the video takes 10 seconds to watch but it took me two and a half hours at least. To make parking easier, we will install sensors and a video camera from AliExpress. For the next build, I will install something better, as this one is not reliable. With all testing and mounting, it took me half a day. Heater will be installed permanently and you cannot remove it. All other furniture can be easily removed. The heater is installed and working properly. It's five kilowatt. I think it's too much for this one, but the Chinese market offers you only this. But it's good because you can lower the settings and it's gonna be throwing the S load. Really happy. Now I need to make the hole on the floor a bit larger so the exhaust pipe doesn't touch the wood because it's getting really hot. And I will put some insulation all around that. At this moment, all electrical things installed everything in place 
and I'm pretty much happy to disassemble everything and start to paint it. This is my least favorite part of the job because it takes time and energy. And you cannot even cut the corners here because after you cannot be upset because you have shit results. In the previous builds it was the shittiest part of the job and I wasn't happy now. I hope it's gonna change because we're gonna use two components paint. We have clean environment, comfortable space to work with, quality spray gun, place to put the stuff on, no dust. I will train myself on the chip paint, water-based, and then I move on to the quality stuff. After using the paint room for the first 10 minutes, I've realized that the filter is way too small, so I've made it slightly bigger. This is not a quick process at all. It takes more paint, more time. It smells bad here. Filter is completely white. I am white. I will be painting now. I will be painting now with the paint. Where's the paint? Okay, I've cut this table. I've added much more shelves and I bought this insulation thing for pipes to protect the wood because if you put the heavy panel, this metal thing leaves a dent. Ventilation is extremely important. So I had to install another ventilator to pump the air into the room. Painting is not cheap, especially if you start to use quality components. This is epoxy paint, epoxy base coat, more or less 90 euro. Painting furniture is the longest process from the, all of them. It takes a lot of time sanding, priming things. Things are getting organized because while you do, you're organizing it. The result is completely different now. Huh? It's super flat, super smooth, clearly different amount of work. When beautiful things on the walls, it's easy to scratch them, it's easy to make it dirty, so I need to be really careful. To do these jobs by yourself is not the best thing you can have, huh? All the pieces cut. The tricky part is to not make it dirty before even installing. <laughs> really nice textile to work with. You can stretch it, bend it, fold it. In some places, the textile needs to overlap on top of each other, so I needed a nice finish. These ones are the most annoying ones. You have to remove one thing, second thing, and you need to cut in the middle. Once you've mixed everything, you have maybe 10 minutes to work with, so I need to be fast. I was procrastinating how to do this thing because I didn't know how to do it. I've tried this thing and I think it came out really well. I, I don't know how to do it better. You add the panel, it's gonna be perfect. Uh, I wouldn't recommend to rely on your memory because after three weeks I already forgot how the things look like, how they fit, and I have a lot of wood to, to put back together. Things takes time and whatever you see on the video, it's hours of work. But good news, the first box is ready. It looks fantastic. The finish is really nice. Seriously, it's really good. It's beautiful and let's continue with everything and I hope in short time, the van will look nice again. Same as me, just like that. When the screws will come in, this will be the correct position.
ya bu ya This is the main negative and main positive for the kitchen. Here we will have a couple of thick cables for USB charger. All the lights, pump, uh, ventilator will be taking energy from here. And another two cables will be bringing power here. Try to put the furniture by myself. I think it's too much, but let's see how it's going. I took off the water tank so it will be much more easy by myself as I can slide the whole kitchen. Forgot the cables. Yeah, all the cables are good. I would recommend you to find some friends. Maybe I should concentrate on that part instead of spending all my time here. Generally, you can even not remove the, the water tank if you are in two person. But unfortunately, I don't have my brother here. So I'm doing by myself all of the hard work. Water is one of the most pain in the ass jobs. Because even if the small, if you have smallest lick, you have to unmount and open the whole thing. So I will fill up the whole tank now to see how we're doing. Water system works from the first time, which is amazing because usually you might have some leaks on some connections. In this case, these pneumatic pipes are amazing. The unique problem is the noise of the pump, which is really loud. I'm not sure what to do about that. Maybe some insulation around the pump. Let's test the light. Good. This is my favorite light. Look how fancy it is. Fan. This regulator. Also this is installed. Came out really nice as one piece of furniture. We're at the final stage of uh, building the van, which is cushions and curtains. At, in this project, we're not using IKEA curtains anymore, which we've done before. We found a huge supplier, which has all of these goodies, and he has rolled up to 50 meters or 30 meters. Much more easier to work, much more comfortable to work, because you don't need to think if one is enough. For the curtains, we have blackout textile, heavy, good thermal insulation as well. Instead of IKEA mattress we do upgrade as well. We found a huge supply of foam. He has huge blocks of foam and he can cut you any slice. It's like cutting prosciutto. This is 10 centimeters, 10 to 30. I think it's much easier to work with as well. On top of the foam, we will have this soft plastic, which adds a bit of softness to the cushion. It will make your slip uh, deeper, your dreams better. I've tried already. Let's put some good music and, uh, and you enjoy how someone else works. I will be working, you will be watching. I think this is the best cushion I've done in my life. Check out the zip line. It's premium look. It's all tight, which is exactly what I want. So the project is almost done for the cushions. The first one took me two hours, second one, one and a half, third one, one hour, fourth one, half an hour. So all the next ones will be at least half an hour or one hour, some, somewhere there. Let's see if all of this goodies is good for, for the purpose of the cushions. <laughs> Let's try this thing. So if I cover everything with a, with a bed linen, it will be perfect, yeah? The last cushion will not fall down, but Everything fits and this is a full size thing. 
I can easily sleep with two. Look, one person, two person, this is one meter. And in the morning, when you wake up, you just do this. Take two cushions, one, put it back there. The same, same size, same size. Boom. Fantastic. The wooden rail installed. Now we can install the metal rail. Bombastic. The beauty of this pencil is that once you go with the iron, it will disappear. The tricky thing is installing these things. When the drill is spinning, it takes the textile and makes the huge hole. Working in such tight places is extremely uncomfortable. I put some insulation tape so it's black, it's not visible from the inside. Let's try to do this. First time doing this way. As soon as I put this aluminium profile, the wind became slightly more industrial, which I don't like. It's durable, but I think that we need to find some different solution. After 1 million tries, I finally managed to just start the print on the leather. It took me 20 times to reinstalling things and playing around with three different applications. And finally, it is printing. With the new 3D printer, I've done a couple of pieces which will add thickness uh, between the rubber and the door. On this model of the van, you cannot adjust the sliding door. And unfortunately, it was leaking. At the end, it came out really great. In order to charge my lithium battery, I had to buy DC to DC charger. I bought a version with a monitor and Bluetooth. Actually, the box does a good job of hiding the cable behind, so not bad. Let's connect it. Everything works as expected. It's turning on and off when it needs to. Let's connect the Bluetooth right now and see what's going on here, because I'm curious right now. If you want to see a full review of this device, link in the description. I would appreciate if, uh, if it was showing how much energy goes down as well. These boxes are from AliExpress, they're not cheap, but they're much better. You only need one for the van. Uh, why they're better is because they're thinner, and this is the first time I'm using them. So you can put the cable gland, it's enough space for 16 millimeters one. The rubber is also great for, for cable protection. The plan of action is 
We're gonna glue the panel with the with the boot heel tape and put each panel on two, two nuts. So if it flies away on the highway, it's not gonna fly away completely from the car. This box is really small, definitely bigger box, not taller but bigger. A bit of glue here and two bolts in front just to have something physical so then it won't fly away. And I will keep this open for ventilation so when you drive the whole water goes in. truck driver line, we take some polish and we polish this while the sun is not too hot. Same time we're gonna polish this car to make it beautiful and shiny again. See where? Let's start the action here. Yeah. I'm not sure if you can see on the camera, I can see with my eyes how shiny here compared to how not shiny here. So what I've done is rough cut with the bracelet and more like soft cut with different sponges came out really nice. Let's continue. The paste for polish you need to clean straight away. Yesterday I it took me two hours to clean the whole thing from the white paste and it's not gone completely. This color is slightly different from this one so we're gonna spray all of it but before that we're gonna wash the car. Also same day I forgot to close the door because the silicone was drying but not a problem because water doesn't damage any wood because it's completely painted. I'm actually happy that the car is old because you can practice on it. Yesterday I spent a couple of hours to watch how to fix these things. It takes time. On the video it's really easy when you do it, but usually it's different. Definitely polishing process works because you can see clearly the difference. So let's continue on the other one. I guess the main job is done because you don't even feel the transition. You can see it, but that was not the main reason we're doing this. It's just so water doesn't go in. That's pretty much it. The van is done. It took me about three months of work to complete this project. It could be less, but I was learning new techniques and uh, learning how to use new tools. What do you think about the van, Amigo? I think this is the highest quality level we reached so far. It's just really, really new level. You see like the finish, the paint job, the cushions, everything is just wow. One year passed since I finished this. It took a bit to finish the video. But looking back on the camper van, I think it's it's a yeah. small jewelry. And small spoiler, we already done some modifications to it, so don't miss the next video. He tested the van already for numerous trips, he had some ideas, he changed some spaces. So in the next video, we'll show them. If not, this video is getting too long. But I appreciate your time watching it. Another spoiler, I thought it would be uncomfortable to live here, but actually, I travel like non-stop maybe like three or four weeks and I felt like being at home. Yeah, sometimes I feel jealous from my big van looking at this one. Sometimes I see the same car outside on the street and um, I'm just thinking how it's possible that you have a full-on bed where you lie down comfortably. This bed is more comfortable for myself if I'm by myself. Uh, and you're a big than boy. My, yeah, than my bed. It's big. Uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Thank you guys.